Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about the rotations that happen in our lower leg between our fibula on the outside of our lower leg and our tibia bone. Um, so I want you to try to sit comfortably. For a lot of people, just getting into this position will be hard. So you can do this sitting on a chair, right? And you don't have to be in this exact position. It's just a visualization to kind of bring our brain online, um, introduce it to our lower leg, and what these bones are supposed to be doing as we take a, a step or as we dorsiflex and plant our flex through our ankle. So um, we're going to imagine, so this is my right leg, I'm gonna imagine that my right arm is my fibula and my left arm is my tibia. So when I point through my foot and I come into plantar flexion, the talus is gliding forward. So the bones of my tibia and my fibula are rotating out in order to allow room for my talus to come forth. And this is, um, this is hydrating that interosteous membrane that connects my fibula and my tibia. And then I'm flexing through the foot, and then these bones rotate in on each other as the talus glides back. So I'm pointing through my foot, and the tibia and fibula rotate out, in order to create space, so my talus glides forward, and then as I flex, my tibia and fibula rotate in towards one another so that my talus glides back. One more time. Now, of course, the movement that I'm doing in my arms is much, much bigger than what's actually happening between the tibia and the fibula, but in a micro way, this is definitely happening. All right, and then to kind of up the training a little bit more. So let's say you can just do one leg or you can, you can do both legs and then come up and do a standing releve. So you can come into a parallel foot and leg. And then as I rise up onto the balls of my feet, I'm imagining that right tibia and fibula moving away from one another so that my talus can come forward. And then as I slowly drop my heel, I'm imagining the fibula and the tibia rotating towards one another so that my talus can really sink and rotate back. Again, when I come up onto the balls of my feet, I'm imagining the tibia and fibula rotating away so my talus can be ushered forward. And when I come down to my heel, the tibia and fibula are rotating towards one another so it can usher the talus down and back. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.